In this video, you'll learn how to create your own floaters and orbits for use with the orbit shader. This video has chapters. Feel free to skip to the parts you're interested in. So first off, you're going to need to find the blend file that's included in the package. It'll be in the FBX Somna Orbit stuff right here. I'm going to right click, show an explorer. It's going to open up an explorer window that selected that blend file. And you're going to want to go ahead and open it in Blender. This file was made using Blender 3.5.1, so most Blender versions will be able to open it. So the shader supports two types of objects. Just a single object like this that's centered around the origin, which means that all the rotation and all the orbiting will be done around the origin, or multi-objects, which are many different objects in one mesh that act as individual objects and, for example, rotate around this origin point and wiggle in their own way, but in such a way that, for example, this whole constellation is moving as a single object, as you can see right here. All these are on the same mesh, but they're moving independently of each other. And so for individual objects that don't have this multi-object thing to them, you don't have to do much. All you got to do is just put your object into the scene and create a material for it. Sign it to use the orbit shader here. And just drag it on there. As you can see, it's already doing stuff. Go ahead and give it a color, give it some lighting, and start messing around with the various settings. You go ahead and use that as a single object. Now, if you want to create something like this where it's multiple objects, it's a little bit more tricky. So let's go ahead through the process. So I'm going to go through my blend file here and make a orbit that is made out of some of these constellations and some of these sigils. So I'm just going to go ahead and first off set up an object made out of these. So I'm going to go and speed through this process. So I now have an object here that's made out of many different objects. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it's centered on the origin and apply all transforms. And now before exporting, I have to do special things to this. The way that this shader identifies individual objects is by using some data in UV1 and UV2. And the blend file is set up to create that data for you using vertex groups. So uh, what that means is you're going to want to, first off, assign each one of these individual objects into their own vertex group. So for example, Harold here is made out of multiple objects. And we're going to go ahead into our vertex groups here. And let's just clear all these for now, for, for the sake of example, and create a new vertex group and assign Harold to that single vertical. Oh, I missed, missed his tail. And assign Harold to this vertex group. Now we can hide him. We can go ahead and create a new vertex group for Harold number two over here, Harold's brother, Gerald, and assign Gerald to this other group. And now all of these guys, this one into its own group, this one into its own group as well, this one into a new group, and then this one into a new group as well. So now each one of these objects has its own vertex group. Um, if you're dealing with uh, objects uh, that are, for example, like, um, let's go ahead to the galaxy here. If you're dealing with a bunch of these objects that are just individual, like, solid things that are this connected, like just essentially vertex islands like this, and you don't want to auto, you don't want to like do all these vertex groups yourself, you can go ahead and use one of the scripts that we've included uh, in the scripting tab here. So go ahead and do that, select the object here. And then uh, click uh, Islands to Groups here and press this, this Run button. And what it'll do is it'll take all of these uh, connected uh, vertices here and turn them into islands. So this one turns into a um, vertex group. This one turns into a vertex group. This one turns into a vertex group, group etc. Right? But you're not going to be able to use that um, with this because that script will turn this into its own vertex group this into its, its own vertex group, this, and you don't want that essentially. Um, but yeah, now that we have our vertex groups uh, set up, you're gonna wanna go into the scripting tab and select group origins to UV and press the run button. And now that's going to write that special data into our UV uh, channels. Now it's time to export the FBX. So my settings for this are selected objects, let's select our thing that we wanna export and apply scaling to FBX all. So let's rename this to Herald Orbits. Now back in Unity, we're gonna be able to go ahead and take our object here, drag it into the scene. Let's place it somewhere where we can see stuff. 
And let's go ahead and create a material for it. Set the shader to orbits one, and drag it onto our thing here. And as you can see, it's not rotating the way we want it to. So let's go ahead and select the multi-object mode and voila. And now let's set up the material. So I'm going to want to have lighting enabled on this, drop some emissions on it, just a little bit of emission, etc. And we can go ahead and start messing with these at distance from center, set up some spin, etc. Right? We can now go ahead and play with, with all the settings in, in the shader. You can go ahead and take a look at these various options that we have here and all of them are documented. So you can go ahead and click the little question marks here and learn what they do. Yeah, that's about it. Have fun.